Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello guys, after learning the biasing techniques in depth mathematically as well as conceptually, here we will be learning the DC analysis of BJT circuits. Now with BJT circuits, we'll have to deal with all the types of biasing techniques, but the first step is DC analysis. So in the amplification point of view, in the amplifier operation, we'll have to learn what is the effect of the DC voltages in the circuit. So first question comes in your mind that why, why that DC analysis is required as a first step. So far we have discussed about the output characteristics of BJT, right? Now in the output characteristics, here in this particular output characteristics of BJT, we did something that intersection of one particular line called as load line, right? So to acquire that particular point which is suitable for the working of BJT as an amplifier, we have to have that particular Q point in an active region. So to have that Q point in an active region, we have to change some external parameters such as resistances, such as voltage applied externally and that is nothing but the biasing, right? And with that biasing, how much DC current we are getting without any application of any AC input voltages. So that we have to learn. That means you have to check what is the position of Q point, what is the reference point from where we will be getting the amplified output without clipping. That is important for amplifier point of view. Let's learn the concept of DC analysis mathematically. We will consider the potential divider bias network initially. Most of the time we will be getting potential divider bias network. Most of the time we will be getting fixed bias network. No problem for any DC biasing steps will be same. very important part in the amplifier perspective capacitor input capacitor is given and then we are applying the input voltage vi with respect to obviously ground and here somewhere we will be getting the output voltage with output capacitor that is vo and this kind of circuitry is called as RC coupled amplifier where we are applying the external biasing with resistances as well as capacitances. One obvious question will come in your mind that why we are applying the capacitor, right? When we are applying the capacitor, we can easily bifurcate DC as well as AC circuit. If we want to find out the DC analysis, if we want to do the DC analysis, your capacitor is playing a major role. So as capacitor, this CC2 and this CC1 is inserted in the circuit, we can say that for DC analysis, very important step for DC analysis. We have to open all the capacitors. All the coupling capacitor and bypass capacitor we have to open. This is called as bypass capacitor. A reason behind that bypass capacitor, we will take a special video for that and then we will discuss about it, right? Here we will not interfere with that particular thing. CC1, CC2 and we'll say this is CE bypass capacitor. All the bypass coupling capacitors are open circuited. Question arises why we have to open. As far as DC is concerned, for frequency is equal to 0, can I say that this XCC1 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi F into CC1? So if frequency is equal to 0, XCC1 will become infinite. And the infinite is called as open circuit. 
right and that's why we are applying open circuit in this particular capacitors so if capacitors are open circuited then we will be getting only these resistances four resistances one transistor and one power supply plus vcc and that two dc so all the parameters that we will be getting in the form of current and voltages are in dc only and that's how we will be getting the q point that is called as a reference point now the steps for to follow dc analysis is this is one of the major step so we can say that this is important step for dc analysis second step will follow draw circuit for dc analysis after removing all the capacitors so we again have to draw this circuit here and then we'll have to apply thevenin's theorem as far as this voltage divider bias is concerned we apply thevenin's theorem for only this particular biasing circuit otherwise we don't have to apply thevenin's theorem we can directly proceed for applying kvl at the input side so that we can proceed further in the next step is apply input kvl and uh, from input kvl we can get the value of get the value of ibq icq right and in the same step we will be getting vceq by applying output kvl right now after getting icq and vcq we have got the reference point right that is very important basic step for your any analysis of any amplifier so draw the characteristics with q point so here we will draw the characteristics with q point suppose we are, our q point is with this characteristics and we have got the load line with respect to all these resistance parameters and the potential parameter this is ic and this is vce here we have got the value of vceq and here we have got the value of icq now understanding the value of icq and vceq we can get how much extent my circuit will amplify your input circuit because your input circuit is enough to have the peak voltage up to this then we can easily say that we'll get full swing above which will not get that full swing and that's why in your viva one question will come that if i want to have the output which is well beyond the value of plus vcc is it possible no it is not possible this is because this is the highest point on the load line that is nothing but your point of vcc right so will not get the value of the peak value which is beyond the value of vcc it will get clipped off otherwise i cannot use this circuit as an amplifier right it's a full of wastage so these are nothing but the steps for dc analysis to grab the point that is q point to grab the reference voltage reference current for further process of amplification in ac analysis as well thank you so much for watching this particular video I hope you have understood well about DC analysis. In the next video, we'll have to learn the AC analysis, which is the next step of the amplification operation, mathematically as well as conceptually. So we'll have to learn more and more EDC along with me, along with EKDA videos. So subscribe this channel of EKDA videos. Thank you so much.